Oh, hello, Tweedledum and Tweedledee. What are you two up to today? The Nobel Peace Prize. What on earth did you win the Nobel Peace Prize for? Well, it seems kind of a negative reason to, to win it. And there's something wrong. That, that medal just doesn't look right. Oh, so they give you uh, just a chunk of it. They took away a piece. So you've got 85%. Well, that's better than, than nothing, I guess. So which of you is going to keep it? Oh, really? Oh, so we have an argument already about who gets to keep... Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, let's calm down. To solve this problem for you too, I'm going to use Egyptian fractions. Egyptian fractions are fractions that have one in the numerator. So these are the whole set of them. Now, I want you to choose one of those. Oh, you chose one very fast there. That's okay. It is good to choose the higher Egyptian fraction. So one half is, a, is very, very good. But there's no need to fight over it, Tweedledee. Now, it's your turn to choose. You can choose any one that you want. Okay, so you're going to choose the one third. Good choice. Okay. Now, we're going to see if that's possible because it's not entirely obvious that this is possible. So we started with 85%. That's 17 over 20. Now we have to see if that's possible to, first of all, take your one half from that. So minus one half, well that's going to be equal to, let's make both denominators 20, so that's going to be minus 10 twentieths, that's going to be equal to 7 twentieths. And now, Tweedledee, we have to see if 7 twentieths minus one third, if that's going to end up to be something that is positive. Now we need a denominator that's going to work maybe 60. So that's going to be 21 divided by 60 minus 20 divided by 60 is equal to 1 60th, which is perfect. That's my commission for, just coincidentally, that's my commission for uh, solving this problem for you too. What we've shown here is that 17 over 20 can be found by being greedy, by each time choosing the largest possible Egyptian fraction. Is this always going to be true? for any integer, even integers more than one. Well, this was proven by Fibonacci, that same man with the bunny rabbits who came up with the Fibonacci sequence. Let's have another example. So, two sevenths is equal to one quarter plus one twenty-eighth. But what happens if we decide we are only going to have odd Egyptian fractions? Well, this was a question that was asked by Ron Graham. And it turns out to be very, very tough to solve. So, 2 sevenths is equal to, oh no, things, yes, very, things get very ugly whenever we deal with just odd ones. This is an unsolved problem, and I never thought, but there might be a moral reason for studying these. It might help cure greediness. I never thought of that. Yeah. Let's give you another sample. So this is 5 one twenty-firsts, Tweedledee. Oh, bless you!